All right, hello everyone out there. This is uh, Day Trader Rockstar for DayTradingRadio.com for another Rockstar watch list. Um, first thing we're going to start off with is uh, wow, what a day it was today! Dreary, bearish, pessimistic, everything. You know what? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear any positive news come out today, and that's that was uh, that was pretty depressing. But I do see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm very excited. Probably, I am very excited for trading tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday. I think we're 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 bound to have a really good day, and I'm going to explain why right now. All right. Just now, let's take a look at how we set up today's trade. Uh, I think it's very. This is actually very very educational. I actually put out a video yesterday. I had a lot of educational stuff on it. Uh, based on the watch list, you know, talking about some of the indicators I use, and it ended up being too lo too long, so I ended up posting it on the site at uh, www.daytradingradio.com. So I know a lot of these, a lot of you guys. Oh, that's spelt wrong up there too. So don't forget about that R up there. Um, but what I was going to say here is, let me fix that. Um, if you don't happen to see a video on YouTube, always check for it on the site because if it's over 10 minutes, they don't let me put it on there. All right, so uh, take a look here. Look at this here. Uh, this is where we left off yesterday, and I said, all right, we broke down out of this wedge pattern, and what I was saying is what we need, what we want to usually do is go uh, retest that wedge pa pattern. You know, we want to test this line right here. If we could test this line and get back above it, which I said at 1343 would be the key here, if we get it back above 1433, you know, that we get back into the pattern. If not, this is definitely a bear signal and a sell signal. So let's see how the day started off. We touched, right when the day started off, we touched that line right there. Perfect, perfect touch. And then look at this. We started selling off. Boom, boom, boom. We sold right off. Perfect setup. A breakthrough, a retest of that line, and then a failure. And then we continued to move down. It was a sell down all the way down down today we actually closed on the end of, closed on the lows of the day you can see up here the sto stochastics also confirmed to move down we were kind of high up here on the 60 minute chart and now we closed down real low here so that's how the uh, 60 minute sh chart showed up and we got to remember you got to use all the all the charts to your advantage you have to use a daily 60 15 minute and 5 minute charts are my favorites and now let's take a look at the five minute chart and take a look exactly how you could break this trade down. All right, let's zoom in a little here. Now, if you see here, as the day started off, we just started trading down here. All right, you just started trading down. Gap down, we started trading right into the 20 period moving average, 20 period moving average. And you can see we're making a series of lower highs. Lower highs. And that's what I, that's one main thing you want to always remember is to make. Uh, always look for lower highs. All right, when you're trading, you want to confirm uh, a move back up. You got to actually get make a higher high, and it will get out of the downtrend. So, you know, in some cases, these trend lines won't work perfectly here. But what usually does work are the lower highs. So, following the uh, 20 20 period moving average down on a five minute chart. In some cases, you broke above it, but it's not really, a, uh, you know, it's, it's a guideline. It's a guideline, you know. You can t definitely tell. You can break above it and stuff. And unless we make that higher high and then come back and retest the, the 20 and then head up again, that's going to be your bullish, in, bullish sign to go long. But right now, we're just at, and now watch what happens here. You see the st stochastics here? Just very choppy trading, very choppy, not even getting to an extreme levels here. You know, extreme levels are always above 80 and below 20. And we get below 20 here a lot, but not, ab not above 80. So that's actually also telling you it's a very bearish day uh, because the levels are never even getting up to that 80. But at one time, we were getting up there, and I'm saying, I remember trading this point. I was like, you know what? This doesn't look good because we're, making, we're, we're doing a consolidation here right at 13.12, which was major consolidation from, uh, from today and yesterday. And I'm like, all right, this doesn't look good because we made a series of lower lows. We bounced up. Now we're starting to make a move up here. But as we're making the move up here, we're not making a higher high. And all of a sudden, we're getting overbought on the sto stochastic. So I'm saying this is bad. Um, this is we're not going to get enough push here, and we're probably going to break down soon. So actually, just turned over. We came back. We bounced off the 1312 again. Went up again. 
hit the 50 period moving average now, which is another good uh, resistance line on a uh, five minute chart, a 50 period exponential moving average. And then we p finally broke down. Broke down out of the pattern, came back up, retested the line, didn't make a higher high, and then sold off at the end of the day. So you can see how important it is to realize higher lows, higher, uh, lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, and how to, how to trade those and what to look for and how to compare those with the stochastics. Uh, make sure the stochastics don't get into an over, overbought area and you're not making a higher, a higher high that's very bearish. Now, I hope I'm explaining this good. I'll definitely go over it more for you in the future, but an excellent um, way of setting up a trade and following a bear trend all the way down. Um, other than that, there's not much you could do on a day like this. First of all, you're trading very choppy. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. You're trading in between like 13, 17, 13, 12 for most of the day. And uh, pretty much just a five, five point range as you stair step down. So very hard to actually you know, get some future trades here unless you, you know, you're able to actually nail each move for a couple points. And that's, you know, it's very time consuming. It's very stressful and stuff. So, um, this is a perfect day to sit back and say, all right, let's plan out a strategy for the next day. And now let's look for tomorrow. So now this is what we're looking at here. We did break out of that, uh, break, break out of this wedge pattern that was forming here. We're right down, uh, let's see. What I'm liking right now, let me get rid of a lot of these lines here because this is getting a little confusing here. I didn't see that these were all set up here. Uh, and this one too. But um, what we're looking at here is finally on a daily chart, I'm getting down to some oversold indicators. I've been waiting for this, waiting for this to get down to this level. And now here's another one. Not many people read the stochastics the way I do. I love, that's my number one indicator. And again, there's different ways to read them. There's excellent ways to, to read an embedded stochastic where the, it's an embedded under the line or over the 80 line. It's very bullish, very bearish. Once it stays above this line, that's an excellent trading signal. So again, I want to do some videos on that. But also, just the way um, a, a stochastic rebounds, you know, if we make a check mark in certain areas, the way we have a crossover, and also the and not many people will talk about this, but the severity angle on a sell-off on a stochastics, you know. Sometimes you get a nice gradual drop here, all right. And then that is, you know, the market, you know, is very gradual. And it's a very long, long, drawn-out process. And then you have a nice steep drop. Now, I noticed that when you have a nice steep drop, the rebound usually happens instead of the drawdown process. So I'm going to be looking for a nice rebound soon. Now this is actually all setting up here for, you know, everything. We have like a perfect st storm setting up tomorrow. We have non, uh, I think we have non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate tomorrow. And everyone's waiting for these numbers. It's a Friday. I'm telling you, perfect storm setting up. Closed on the lows. If we get a nice gap down tomorrow, just a nice gap down uh, to test these levels right here. Um, you know, and looking for, let's see, what am I looking for? The open, the open on that way, the open uh, 1295, probably between 1300 and 1295. If we get a gap down to that level, the stochastics would be a nice oversold area. We probably have a good chance of a, uh, a little rally going here. So I'm going to be watching that level, level strongly at this level. Yeah, I'm just going to be watching this level right here. And uh, pretty much wasted the whole video talking about the S&P futures and the setup. But that's what we have to do because right now we want to concentrate on time in this market and knowing that a big rally is, is about to happen. And, uh, and then you're going to have just to pick the stocks that you might want to get into uh, when it's time to get into. So keep your powder dry. Uh, when, when this market does get a gap down like this and you're going you know, to hear a lot more people coming out. You know, I never heard so much uh, negativity today in the market. So this is also another good indicator that we're probably coming close to a bottom here. But this is the key right here. The stochastics getting down, steep angle drop here. So I would keep your eyes open for some serious movements. Let's take a look here. This is a daily chart of the CME. Here's, an, here's a stock that's a rock and roll stock, a stock that can move up big. Again, Apple could move up big. So you want to also keep your eyes on some serious stocks that probably are going to move when the time time is right all right that's it for now i think i will leave you um and actually i'm going to try to do a uh
educational video soon. Uh, if not today, then uh, then uh, tomorrow definitely. So let me zoom out and again. I'm on the radio every day from eight o'clock to four o'clock. www.daytradingradio.com. I'm the day trading rock star, and I hope to see you on the site. Come by, join us, and uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy the education. I'll talk to you tomorrow.